Ladies and gentlemen, President and Chief Executive Officer of Bell Helicopter, Mr. John Garrison. Wow. Good morning, everybody. On behalf of the more than 10,000 men and women at Bell Helicopter, thank you for joining us at Heli Expo 2014. Welcome to our customers, to our suppliers, our customer service facilities, and our independent representatives, as well as our employees who are joining us remotely from our offices and plants around the world. Bell Helicopters on a mission to change the way the world flies by providing exceptional value to our customers. We deliver this exceptional value throughout the life of the aircraft by listening to you, our customers. And I can tell you, it is an incredibly exciting time to be at Bell Helicopter, working side by side with our commercial and our military customers to create the next generation of vertical lift. And today, we'd like to share that future with you. This is more than just a new product. This is for Bell, a new way of doing business. Right from the beginning, it was what you need. And based on your needs, we're going to develop something that will comply perfectly for what you need. I would say that everything on the aircraft has been designed by our customers. This is an aircraft that will evolve to do missions of emergency, missions of rescue, missions of medivacs, and will serve completely different targets and different markets. 2014 is really the inflection point where we put everything together and get it into the air. Parts are being built systems are being integrated, and the systems and components are undergoing tests. We have the ability to test each system individually in its own bench, or we can tie all the systems together here in the lab at one time. We get to actually have the real flight control computers, real actuators, real hardware. You're able to find your faults and your deficiencies early in the program and either design them out or you can have them fixed by the time you get the flight test. Fly my wire systems allow a path to make the aircraft reduce workload for the pilot. The control laws will make sure that you hold your altitude. We'll coordinate your turns so that you don't have to have as much hands-on in the cockpit to keep everything under control. Control modes that are automated and built into this flight control system or far exceed anything else that's out in the fleet right now. The last thing that we want them to do is have to remember complex procedures or challenging tasks to get to the information that they need. We've started final assembly of our first flying aircraft in Amarillo. Over 40,000 parts in the warehouse in Amarillo. That 3D design level allows the parts to be built anywhere, and those parts come and just bolt together. The single source of data from the engineer's fingertips all the way to the customer and the maintainer is seamless. It has enabled the production engineering group to create 3D virtual simulations that the mechanics use as work instructions to build the aircraft. It's going to be just like having a train bell helicopter assembler in your maintenance shop. Bell is ahead of what the needs are for the type of helicopter that's going to be needed in each of the industries and will set the future of everything has to do with innovation of vertical lift wait for this aircraft to come to market because you're going to be well rewarded for that patience. We have the Relentless here. How can you miss her? She's beautiful. And she's in her newest configuration for search and rescue. The 525 will deliver a generational shift in pilot situational awareness, maintainability, and safety. The Relentless will provide industry-leading value across a range of missions. You know, and as we're doing in the commercial world, we're also shaping the next generation of military vertical lift with the Bell V280 Valor. We're applying lessons learned of over 55 years of tilt rotor experience to this clean sheet design. Our third generation tilt rotor will provide unmatched speed, range, and payload delivering transformational reach and revolutionary capability for our military customers. This technology has the ability to fundamentally change the military concept of operations. But you know, we're not just investing in the future generation of aircraft, we're also investing in our current products. One great example of this is the new wheel landing gear option now available in the Bell 429, right behind many of you. The state-of-the-art 429 
already delivers exceptional performance, but our customers ask for a wheel landing gear option to give them even greater flexibility. The wheel landing gear option was certified by Canada and Brazil just last month. You know, again, by, by listening to our customers, we knew it was time to update the Bell 412. Our workhorse, our customer's workhorse. So last year, we introduced the Bell 412 EPI, and we've already begun delivering aircraft to our customers. The EPI incorporates a fully integrated glass flight deck and an engine upgrade delivering 15% more horsepower. You know, speaking of performance, that's one of the things our customers love most about the Bell 407, its performance. And the Bell 407 GX takes the performance, reliability, speed, and maneuverability to new heights. The 407 that we have on display was customized in the back there for Bruce Erickson at our full service customization center in Piney Flats, Tennessee, a part of our top ranked customer support and services team. We continue to expand our global footprint to provide the outstanding support our customers have come to expect from Bell. We've made significant investments to improve our business systems. And while we have experienced some growing pains associated with the transition to our new system, I am pleased our customers rank Bell Helicopter number one in service for the 20th consecutive year. You know, throughout our history, we have changed the way the world flies. From the first commercially certified helicopter, to the first U.S. Army helicopter, to the first tilt rotor. And the first helicopter to fly around the world was the legendary Bell Jet Ranger. Nearly 50 years ago, Bell Helicopter changed the industry with the Jet Ranger. No helicopter has accomplished more missions, flown more hours, and set more industry records than the Jet Ranger. The Jet Ranger is the most loved helicopter globally, without any match or rival. The Jet Ranger was the very first helicopter that I bought and operated. I've been flying the Bell Jet Ranger for about 20 years. Production stopped. It was a really sad day for everybody. Jet Ranger no more. We've involved these customers throughout the entire development of the aircraft. Just a very eclectic, different type of operator base that do, you know, just about everything with the helicopter. We got into some serious discussions. You know, I look at the helicopter completely different now that I've been on this committee. Every engineer and every pilot has redesigned the Jet Ranger in their own mind already. There's a lot of very opinionated people in the helicopter industry. These customers are so varied in how they use the aircraft. They're just fanatic pilots. They love rotorcraft. There's a huge room and all the engineers are there. And you can actually put your hand up and make a comment and they'll absorb what you said and change it. It's incredible. No other manufacturer does that. They're the ones that are out flying these aircraft. They know exactly what they need our aircraft to do. You have to, to be able to perform a whole range of tasks in some of the most remote parts of the world. You obviously need something that is reliable and that can withstand the elements and that's well supported and easy to repair. What Bell has done with the SLS is blended all of these needs into one helicopter. Bell Helicopter has listened to everybody on the advisory committee. We started in earnest with the design and development team um, just under a year ago. They're going to take a small entrepreneurial team and put them behind the curtain, empower them, leave them alone. They're out in, in one of our hangars. Everyone sits together, gave them an aggressive set of targets, told them to go fast. It's kind of like if you were to design your car. You know, you can go sit in your car before you buy it and have the engineer tweak things. You know, it's kind of neat. The supplier engagement may be one of the largest differences. I can pull an engineer over here and say, hey, I have such and such supplier on the phone. Do you mind speaking with them? To help influence the design of the system, the cost of the system, as long as they're meeting our performance requirements. They've taken and blended proven rotor system, proven gearbox, with a new design fuselage, new engine technology, new avionics, to really make a product that we can trust. They're going to step into a uh, completely modern flight deck. Beautiful open design cabin with a flat floor, bigger windows, so the visibility improved. It's a 3,000 hour TBO engine, 
producing 550 shaft horsepower. All of those situational awareness tools, uh, all the integration capabilities, all the alerting, the synthetic vision, the HTOS, all of these tools. This is what the customer will, will get and feel. Safety, reliability, and power. This team and the work that they're doing is amazing. I'm excited. I think it's going to be exactly what the customers want. It's a real game changer. The SLS is groundbreaking. This is really out of the box. I believe the product's going to be revolutionary. Jet Ranger X. So what do you think? You know, I'd, I'd like to take a, just a brief moment to thank uh, several organizations that are in, in the team that's, that's bringing this, uh, the Jet Ranger X, to reality. First, uh, we've got a delegation from the state of Louisiana that's going to be the proud home of the Bell 505 Jet Ranger X assembly plant. So, state of Louisiana, thank you. We have uh, Olivier Andreas, the chairman and CEO of TurboMecca, that's going to power this incredible machine. Olivier, thank you and everything that TurboMecca is doing to bring this to reality. We have Ben Kowalski and the Garmin team that gives that situational awareness that the pilots need to be successful. Ben, to you and your team, thank you very much. And now there, there's two groups, the special groups, that I really want to thank. And the first you heard about is the customer advisory panel. They've dedicated two years on and off traveling literally around the globe to come in and coach us, to help us, to provide their insights on what this aircraft needed to do to accomplish their missions in the field. And so I'd like to give a big round of applause to our Customer Advisory Council and thank you for the time and effort you put in. And finally, the program team that's been living, breathing, eating this project now for, for the better part of 24 months and their work's ahead of them as we move the first flight uh, by the end of the year and then on to certification. But the program team's done a great job. Let's give them a big round of applause. You know, at Bell Helicopter, we're focused on, on, on ensuring our customers success, are successful because we know if you're successful that we have a chance to be successful. So we're going to relentlessly pursue your business, and we know if we make you successful, we can be successful. Ladies and gentlemen, if you, if you give us just a moment, you too will be able to experience the Jet Ranger X the revitalization of the legendary Jet Ranger.
invite you to please come and explore the new Bell 505 Jet Ranger X.